we're looking at here is simplifying rational expressions. And what we should be thinking about, back in the day we used to have problems like this, like maybe x squared y over x. If we had a common term on both the top and the bottom, and everything was being multiplied, I could simplify this and cancel out any of those like uh, factors. When I would do that, it would be leaving me with an answer like x times y uh, as an answer, x times y, uh, because the original x and the x squared all canceled out. I can do the same thing with these rational expressions that have bigger factors like this. So what I should say is I have an x plus 3. Does that show up as a factor on the bottom as well? And in fact, it does. That means I can cancel both of those out. Similarly, I also have on the top and bottom a 2x plus 5. So those can cancel each other out. Once I cancel everything that I can, I can just rewrite what is left as a big factor on the top and then any factors I have on the bottom. And that would be my simplified answer. Now I could go and try to like foil through all of this to simplify it there too. This is a fine form. I would leave it like that unless it specifically tells you otherwise. Let's look at another problem. In this one, we have a division problem. Well, remember, division of a fraction, we said what we do is we flip and multiply, or invert and multiply. That means that the second fraction, only the second fraction, I need to flip it around. What was on the bottom goes up to the top. What was on the top will come down to the bottom. And when I do that, with that nice little fancy thing, that means I now changed it from division to multiplication. So here's your multiplication problem that we have. And now we're in the same boat. What factors are on the top and the bottom that can cancel? Let's start here that I see a 2x minus 1. That can both be canceled. I see that I have an x squared and an x. Well, I can get rid of one of the x's and then get rid of that x. And then the last thing that I see can happen here, I have an x minus 1 and an x minus 1. So those things all being canceled, what I have left on top is 5x plus 3. I have an x and I have an x plus 3. On the bottom, I have a 2x plus 5, and I have a 3x minus 2. So that, again, is my simplified answer. Now, in a problem like number 16, what a lot of you are going to try to do is say, well, here's an x and here's an x squared, so I can get rid of that and make that just an x. No, you can absolutely not do that. You can only cancel factors, not added terms. So what we need to do is turn this problem into something that looks like that problem. And the way to do that is just factoring. So I need to factor each and every one of these. So in this first one, factors of 6 that subtract to 1 are going to be 3 and 2. So an x in each, a 3 and 2, it should be x plus 3, x minus 2. On the bottom, factors of 35 subtracting to 2 are going to be 7 and 5. Doesn't matter the order, but I need to have it be a negative 7 and a positive 5. Over here, I have a common factor of an x, so I should pull that out first and I can't factor it anymore. And on the bottom, I can't factor that guy anymore either. So now, what are uh, in common between this? Well, I have an x minus 3. This looks just like an added term, but as a whole, it is its own full factor. That means I can cancel it with another factor that says exactly x plus 3. I also have an x minus 7 in common, so those can all be canceled. And what I'm left with here is an x times x minus 2 up top, and I also have on the bottom an x plus 5. Now something that we should have seen here is that I didn't even realize, same here, we had a common factor of an x that we should have pulled out from the beginning. So really, I have x times x plus 5, and you can notice here, the x's would cancel out, and my answer is just x minus 2 over x plus 5. Always look for that GCF first. I made my own common mistake that I always warn you guys not to make. So uh, do as I say, not as I do. One last one here. I would almost say pause the video and see if you can give this one a try and see if you can find an answer. All right, let's go one at a time here. In the top left, back to the 24, subtracting the 5, you're going to have uh, 8 and 3. I need it to be a positive because the bigger number always gets this sign, and then I figure out that this must be negative. That's the only way to get to a positive 5. On the bottom, first, I have a factor of x, so let's pull that out first. I'm left with an x squared minus 5x plus 6. What are factors of 6 that add to 5? Well, that would be 2 and 3. I need my bigger number to get a negative, and then the only way to get negative 5 is if that's negative as well. Over here, I have <coughs> x to the fourth minus x cubed minus x squared. That means I can pull out an x squared first, 
be left with x squared minus x minus 2. Factors of 2 subtracting the 1 are going to be 2 and 1. So I have a 2 and I have a 1 with an x in each. I need my bigger number to be negative. The only way I can get that is with a positive. Now don't forget, I pulled out an x squared here. I need to write that there. Same as I did here, I had that x squared. I better write that out as well. In fact, for this one, I know I'm pulling out an x, so let me write it here right now so I don't forget. Okay? It leaves me with x squared plus 9x plus 8. Factors of 8 that add to 9 would be 8 and 1. So I have an 8. I have a 1 with my x in each. My bigger number gets that sign in the middle of 8, and then I need it to be a positive 1 to make it up to a 9. So now we can see what cancels out. Well, I see right away I have an x plus 1 over here. You probably also saw you had x minus 3's right on top of each other, so those can go away. I have an x minus 2 that's similar. I have an x plus 8 here, which is the same. And what I have left are just a couple of x's. Well, let's figure out what I can do with those. I can go here and take one of my x's out to get rid of that x, and then I can take my other x, get rid of it, with that x. So I have nothing left. That means my answer here is just one. So all that big nastiness for an answer of one.